Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the ABC challenge with P for Panty Anarchy from Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. So you guys will have to excuse me today. I am extremely brain dead. It was a really, really rough day at work. Um, I barely can process sentences right now. So yeah, I'm gonna try to talk, but we'll see how successfully that goes. Um, but first off, a little update. So my hand is feeling a lot better. Um, the puncture in my hand has basically healed over. It's still a little bit scabby. The bruise on my arm still looks pretty gnarly, but overall I can open and close my hand, but I can't really flex it very well because of uh, there's still a lot of bruising on my knuckles. So I'll probably be able to start drawing again at the end of this week or early next week, but luckily I had this drawing pre-done and the one for Friday pre-done. So we are good to go. You guys are gonna have two art videos this week and uh, it was just I didn't get a chance to draw at all this week, but you guys should have some videos, so we'll be good to go on that. But overall, I had a lot of fun with this piece and I really like the Panty and Stocking anime series. So before you guys rush off and go and Google it, if you haven't heard of it before, just a warning, it is, I guess, an older teen to adult anime. It has a lot of um, really adult topics and adult humor, and I think that's why I love it. But, you know, it's not for everyone. It's not for the faint of heart. It ranges from just really gross humor to uh, really, like, sexual humor, different things like that. So just FYI, a warning before you youngins, if there are youngins, run off and be like, hey, she likes this anime, let me watch this anime, and then you're scarred for life. I'm warning you now, before anything happens, <laughs> if you're not ready for it or if you're not mentally prepared, this is a more mature anime. But besides that point, I really, really like this series. I'll give you guys a little bit of a preface, but basically there's uh, two angels, Panty and Stalking Anarchy, who are sent down to Earth. I guess they're more exiled down to Earth. And while on Earth, they stay with a priest called Garter Belt. And then they have this like dog, rip off stuffed animal thing that kind of looks like Gur, but his name's Chuck. And uh, basically they were sent down to earth and the only way to get back is they collect heaven coins or heaven tokens when they defeat different um, demons or evil spirits on earth. And usually these demons or evil spirits are kind of a combination of a bunch of deceased human spirits that all died in a similar fashion. So for example, the first episode, they fight a giant poop monster, and it's the, um, it's the combination of plumber spirits that died due to suffocation in disgusting bathrooms. So that's kind of a little bit of a snippet of kind of what this whole thing is about. Um, it has just random, stupid, gross humor, and it has a lot of funny sexual humor, and I just, I really like it. Oh, and another small preface. So. Um, Panty and Stocking are both pretty interesting characters. They're not your typical angels, if you haven't already figured that out by just how Panty is drawn in this one. Um, they both have very specific quirks that I think is what got them exiled in the first place. So for example, Panty is obsessed with sex. Like, she can't get enough of it. She almost sleeps with anything that moves. It's, it's pretty funny, but... So Panty's obsessed with sex, and then Stocking is obsessed with sweets. She eats a god-awful amount and somehow stays thin. Who knows? I don't know, science, but she absolutely loves sweets, so that's kind of both of their fatal flaws. And then on top of it, uh, to go along with their namesake, how they both have their names are actually to do with how they fight evil spirits. So <laughs> you get ready for this because this is the best part of the anime. Um, basically how they summon their angelic weapons is through parts of their clothing. So Panty can make a gun out of her underwear or other people's underwear. Um, for example, when uh, she wants to have dual handguns, she has to use stockings underwear to make dual handguns. And then for stocking, she has obviously two stockings and she can convert those into katanas. So she dual wields these striped blade katana things. 
Um, so yeah, that's also where they get their namesake and it's how they get their weapons. And then a fun um, opposite to them is their main enemy is these two demon sisters called Scanty and Knee Socks. So Scanty uses her scandalous panties uh, and she can do uh, double wielding guns. And then Knee Socks has Knee Socks, which can be changed into these scythes. So they have battles and it's really cool and it's action packed and it's stupid humor and I really like it. and. I would recommend it for anyone who likes that type of humor. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally really like the show. But yeah, we're getting a little bit closer to the end, so let me get back to the art. I really like how this one turned out, but I realized about halfway through, I did this one a little bit different than my other ABC challenges. I typically do the line art in the soft pencil like I do the coloring and the sketching. But this time, I think it's just been a while since I've actually drawn an ABC challenge because I did a full ink. But you know what? I still really like how it looks and it was fun to try to draw more of like a sexy girl, which I don't do very often. But overall, I, I just really like how this one turned out. So thanks again, guys, for stopping by and checking out this video. And I would love to hear what you guys would have picked for P for Panty. So if you want to leave it in the comments down below, I'd love to see what your guys' choices were. And if you aren't already, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week, and I guess I'll just see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.